जैसा बनने कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स के दो ही फ्रुक्टोज और दो ही है ग्लूकोज कहा गया ग्लूकोज नहीं है है ना बेटा उसको बोलो अमूल को बोलो निकाल के देगा अमूल को बोलना कि ग्लूकोज मतलब वो ग्रीन वाला जो डब्बा है नमस्कार नमस्कार एवरीवन नमस्कार हेलो हेलो हाँ नमस्कार गुड आफ्टरनून हाय मैम हाउ डू यू डू गुड मैम आव यू नमस्कार 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 शर्मा जी अपत शाची आई एम सो आई इट गॉट ऑफ माय माइंड योर दिस वन इज ओवर ना कोई बात नहीं मैम आई कैन अंडरस्टैंड राधा बट यू नो आई शुड नॉट थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू मैम हो गया शर्मा सर नमस्कार ही इज म्यूटेड सर आपका म्यूटेड है हाँ मुझे कुछ सुना ही नहीं पड़ा अभी आवाज ब्रेक हो रही थी अच्छा 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 कैसे हैं सर आप हाँ मैं ठीक हूँ बिल्कुल थोड़ा वही जुकाम खांसी चल रहा है तो गला अच्छा बदल मौसम बदल रहा है ना लास्ट वीक छुट्टी पे ही था इसी वजह से अरे कल से ज्वाइन किया तो थोड़ा है अभी बेटर ओके सीजन है सब सीजन चेंज हो रहा है हाँ हाँ अच्छा हाँ हम लोग बढ़ गए डॉक्टर स्वरूप इज नॉट देर येट ना सर है बट आई थिंक गुड आफ्टरनून मैम गुड आफ्टरनून गुड आफ्टरनून गुड आफ्टरनून आप इंस्टीट्यूट आए थे हाँ हाँ Oh yes 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 are the best institute i should say in nagpur matlab <laughs> itna badhiya kaam bilkul acha aapne you could place me hai mujhe matlab us waqt hum log thoda jaldbazi mein hi rehte hain na aapko kaun bol sakta hai ma'am look at nahi i went to ios and you know it is such a well managed uh, study center and mm. upar se dr shiva swarup working on this you know it goes um, different level bahut hi badhiya and we are running both of our programs na cplt pg dsc dono chal raha hai mm. yeah yeah bsc bhi hai msc bhi hai ha bsc ha right right Sanat wo to ha you know <laughs> statistics hai post graduate diploma acha pg dsc bhi hai oh, good good very nice chemistry uh, तो अच्छा जा जा तो मैडम आप लोग वो कर रहे हैं इस्तेमाल जो हमारे शर्मा जी का एक बहुत तगड़ा पोर्टल है व्यास डब्ल्यू ए एस उसको कोई एक्सेस कर रहा है क्या नहीं मैडम नहीं, नहीं कर रहे हैं शायद आई नो नहीं नहीं मुझे नहीं कोई बत, किसी ने बताया मुझे मुझे मालूम नहीं था मैडम एक्चुअली नहीं मालूम था अच्छा आई थिंक वो ही मैं ना हमेशा से मैं शर्मा जी को कहती थी समहाउ देर इज अ गैप बिटवीन You know दस मे बी स्टडी सेंटर रीजनल सेंटर एंड व्यास के जो करता है मतलब इज होल्डिंग दैट एन सी आई डी यू नो डिविजन एंड इट रियली नीड्स अ लॉर्ड ऑफ प्रोपोकेशन मुझे तो जो मिलता है मैं उसी को ही एडवर्टाइज करती रहती हूँ अच्छा अच्छा अभी पीजीडीएसी का प्रैक्टिकल शुरू ही है मैडम इस वजह से मैं ऑफलाइन जा नहीं पाई फिर वहां पे वेरी नाइस अच्छा कितने स्टूडेंट्स हैं फिलहाल अभी तो छह ही है मैडम हाँ ये नहीं मेरे को लगता है स्टैंडर्ड सा चलता है यू सिक्स टू आई मीन 
it ranges like this only <laughs> but not bad continuity to hai ha madam bilkul bachche aate hi hai par wo kisi ko us time pe na jame fir dusre time pe dusre time is tarah se wo practical thoda late late hi kar rahe hai bilkul bilkul aisa par aur abhi do practical hai fir summer mein do practical is tarah se acha 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 very nice ha aap log to bahut achhi tarah organize karte hain nahi udhar ka awaaz kahan hai से शुरू हो गया तो वहां से आ जाए शुरू ही था क्लोज करके क्लोज करके फिर से एक बार कर सकते हैं ना हम्म क्लोज करके तो पूरा बंद हो जाएगा ना ना अभी तक आया अभी क्यों नहीं आ रहे तो वीडियो हम तक गुड आफ्टरनून वेरी गुड आफ्टरनून टेक्निकल हिच या अच्छा टेक्निकल हिच ओके 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 दैट्स वाई you know i tried around 3 to uh, see if my zoom was working you know and it really asked for an update uh, so i thought ki acha hua pehle dekha tha nahi to fir aisa glitch rehta that's today we are organizing not at regional center in association with the hislop college i know uh, hislop college mm. yeah yeah so you people are at ios uh, or at the regional center right now we are at the hislop college okay 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 namaskar sir namaskar ha namaskar madam namaskar namaskar good afternoon sharma good afternoon sir uh, good afternoon good afternoon good afternoon good afternoon siddhi ki madam good afternoon sir hi I think now I am visible, na? No? Okay. Yes, 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 you are. Come. You want some other camera? Same. Yes. Okay. Okay. This is your camera. रेस्पेक्टेड डिग्नेटरीज फ्रॉम वेरियस स्कूल्स ऑफ इग्नो डॉक्टर पी शिवस्वरूप सीनियर रीजनल डायरेक्टर इग्नो रीजनल सेंटर नागपुर Dr. Prasant Selke, Principal Hislop College, other faculty members and counselors, dear students and learners, a warm afternoon to one and all. I extend a very warm and hearty welcome to all of you on this webinar 
IOPSC Global Women's Breakfast GWB 2023 and celebration of National Science Day. The theme of this webinar is breaking the barriers in science education through open university feedback of teachers and students of IGNU. This webinar is jointly organized by IGNU Regional Center Nagpur and Hislop College Nagpur. I request all the panelists to go on mute and uh, all our well wishers watching us live on YouTube as we are ready to commence the program short. This program will commence with the Kulgit of IGNU. I think there is no volume. It yeah, looks like, or maybe some uh, this one, yeah. a net problem. Or... तो वैभव बाबू का फोन कर रहा है सर आपका ठीक है क्यों मतलब ये ठीक मान रहे हैं now I request uh, Dr. Prasant Selke, Principal Hislop College, to deliver welcome speech. Okay, we'll check whether the uh, is joined online. Okay, uh, due to te technical uh, re reason, he may not be able to join now. We will try to contact sir. So now I request Dr. P. Sivasarup, Senior Regional Di Director, Ignu R.C. Nakpu, to deliver speech about the objectives of GWB 2023. Sir. Good afternoon, friends. And I extend a hearty welcome to 
my colleagues, Dr. Yusi Pandey, Director of Regional Services Division, Professor Shachi Shah, Director of SYTS, Ignore New Delhi, Professor Lalita Kumar, my friend and Professor of Chemistry at Igno New Delhi, and Dr. Bopi Sharma, Director of NCIDA, and also Dr. Siddiqui, and the uh, Program Conductor, Dr. Aldar, the Assistant Coordinator, Dr. Rishi Agarwal, and all our counselors and student friends. I extend a hearty welcome to you all for this Global Women's Breakfast 2023 event. Let me share the objective of this webinar. The, you, may, you might have heard International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry, IUPAC. It is an international organization. It was established in 1919. And under its auspices, the Global Women's Breakfast was started in 2019, and it is aimed at building a network of men and women working together to address the barriers and inequalities faced by women in science. So Global Women's Breakfast, it is a global event held at several cities around the world on the same day, that is today, 14th February, and we are happy that we at Nagpur through Igno Regional Center and Hisra College, we joined in this national network, international network. And Association of Chemistry Teachers, it is the apex national body of chemistry educators in the country established in 2000. And Dr. D.V. Prabhu, General Secretary, is instrumental in organizing all activities. And this year, this GWB is in, uh, propagated by ACT. This year, the theme of Global Women's Breakfast is Breaking Barriers in Science. As 2023 is also celebrated as International Year of Basic Sciences for Sustainable Development, this year, all sciences, including environmental sciences, are included in the activities. And as most of you know, the Indira Gandhi National Open University is a central university established in 1985 and is world's largest open university with NAC A double plus grade. And IGNO is offering several science programs since 1992 with compulsory practical components. Without attending practical sessions at a regular college or university, student will not get his or her degree or diploma. And all the counselors of local level study centers, they are approved at national level after verifying their credentials by the faculty at Tigno New Delhi. And regular monitoring by the regional center academics and headquarters faculty is part of quality monitoring. So through these various inbuilt activities, the quality of science education is offered through open university. Many people feel that how a science education can be given through open university. So these are all inbuilt quality monitoring parameters and they are implemented. And we know that for higher education, there are several unreached sections in the society, to name a few, remote area people like rural and tribal, economically poor, working men and women, for whom earning is more important than learning. All these are, they cannot use higher education in its conventional form. So for all such people, distance education and open university is best alternative. At Igno Nagpur Regional Center, we make focused efforts in reaching such unreached sections through Gyan Ganga awareness meetings and explain them the concept of ODL and how they can get benefited through it, how they can upgrade their knowledge, skills, and certification through Igno. We have Nagpur RC in particular and Igno in general, students from different unreached sections like prisoners, tribal women, female sex workers, transgenders, etc. besides many housewives and working women. Hislop College is our study center and this has become an associate in organizing today's event. In time with this year's Global Women's Breakfast topic, we chose the topic as breaking the barriers in science education through open university. The feedback from students and teachers of IGNO. 
because they are the stakeholders in the system and they have been using the system they are in the system so they will give their feedback how they are feeling it how it is breaking the barriers in science education we invited national experts from delhi like our colleagues from igno new delhi and local teachers of nagpur who are igno counselors and coordinators and assistant coordinators and women science students from different places including those from remote areas like gadchiroli vardha and other places they will share their feedback and experiences through this now we will have a video on global women's breakfast sent by iupsc after that the, we will have the sessions rajesh thank you very much for joining us rajesh please ha huh? abhi video chala ha huh? ek i think uh, dr prashant shelke has joined dr prashant shelke principal, principal of the hislop college he joined they are having some internal iqac visit or something yeah yeah please join. good afternoon good evening uh, good evening hello good evening. Uh, please yeah why the request dr prashant uh, principal hislop college thank you thank you dr alda thank you very much thank you sir uh dr shiv sarup Uh, regional director indira gandhi national open university my colleague uh, dr agrawal dr haldar other dignitaries speakers participants for today's hybrid mode webinar a very warm welcome to all of you it gives me a great pleasure to welcome you all on behalf of islam education society for the national level hybrid mode webinar on the theme breaking barriers in science education through open university scheduled for today islop college is the oldest institution in central india established in the year 1883 and has contributed immensely in the field of education it caters education from undergraduate level to doctoral level with excellent infrastructure and academic environment Islop College Nagpur has long association that is of 7 years with IGNO and also it is a recognized IGNO study center friends global women breakfast is a flagship event of international year of basic sciences of sustainable development bringing together people from all science disciplines the theme of the global women breakfast 2023 is breaking barriers in science gender equality and women empowerment are the outcome of a healthy and equitable system in the society ignu which is the international level university and graded a double plus by nat is well equipped and with the theme of this webinar being a co-host of the international union of pure and applied chemistry theme of the program i welcome everyone for this webinar and hopeful that the outcome will be as per with the sdg 5 which deals with the gender equality laid by laid out by united nation once again i welcome you all for you and wish you a very informative and fruitful session ahead thank you thank you very much thank you thank you sir thank you sir now we will have the video of the sent by iupsc on the eve of this global women's breakfast
welcome to the 2023 Global Women Breakfast. Since 2019 and coinciding with the United Nations Day of Women and Girls in Science, the International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry has been organizing this event to celebrate, connect and empower women scientists worldwide and to break barriers in science, which is the theme of this year's edition. Diversity not only makes teams more effective, as many studies show, but it also makes us better people and contributes to creating happier, more inclusive societies. That's why I invite all of you, men and women, to talk about how to break down any barriers that people in your workplace may face in reaching their full potential. The early composition of my lab at Berkeley in fact, really the core people that did the work that the Nobel Foundation has recognized before, if you look at that group of people, they are far more diverse than certainly at that time you would see in the average chemistry laboratory. I had a preponderance of female grad students at a time when our representation in the graduate program at Berkeley was 50%. My lab was over half. I had people from different backgrounds, people who identify as underrepresented minorities. And I think that diversity of people created an environment where we felt we didn't have to play by the same as scientists. We could do things like organic chemistry in living animals. We didn't have to play by the rules. If there weren't the right chemistries, to get the job done, we could invent new chemistries. Why not? We didn't have to play by the rules. I was very fortunate that I could actually play a supportive role in my lab and let that diverse group of students find their voice, realize their curiosity, break the rules, and do something that 25 years later, some people found impactful. And I owe them a great debt of gratitude. The 2023 Global Women Breakfast is particularly special because IUPAC has joined with all international scientific unions and science academies worldwide as part of the International Year of Basic Sciences for Sustainable Development to work together towards goal number five, which is to achieve gender equality and empower all women and girls, also in science. The IUPAC Global Women's Breakfast in Nigeria has been successful thanks to the chat coordinators women in chemistry and the other organizers. We have had over a hundred breakfast meetings since 2019. These meetings have fostered networking, mentoring, and collaborations. A lot of girls have been enlightened by the career prospects in chemistry. Our male counterparts are well aware of the need to support women scientists and many more professionals are involved in IPA activities as champions for change. By taking part in the 2023 Global Women Breakfast, you are joining thousands of people in hundreds of cities around the world, which are celebrating, empowering, and connecting men and women to build a better, more inclusive world. Welcome to this global networking event, and do not hesitate to share the outcomes of your conversations with us. And please, enjoy your breakfast. Okay, uh, we have uh, many renowned panelists for this uh, hybrid webinar. Uh, the first one, the Professor Sachi Shah from Directors SYTS IGNU, ma'am, uh, will share her, ex uh, her expert opinion about the theme of this webinar. Professor Sachi Shah. Uh, a very good evening uh, to one and all. Uh, Dr. P. Shiv Sharup, R.D. Uh, Nagpur, uh, Principal uh, Hapson College, Prasan Salkeji, Haldarji, Agrawalji, my um, Fellow colleague from SOITS, Professor Lalita S. Kumar, ma'am, Dr. O. P. Shanmasar, and all the counselor 
of uh, our IGNU counselors and uh, for various program, all the students, a very good evening. At the outset, I would like to, this is the perfect opportunity for me, I think, to just uh, convey my uh, sincere thanks to uh, our, our um, coordinators for this program and academic counselor of uh, MSc Environmental Science program in particular and all the other program of IGNU for conducting all the practical sessions and conducting the science-based program so well. We know that the main stakeholder in open and distance learning education is the counselor and the, the, uh, the student. So without their counseling and without the attending the practical, this uh, the program cannot be a success. So first of all, on behalf of on my personal behalf and on behalf of all the um, um, program coordinator and also I would like to thank uh, the um, our uh, coordinators and also the center for organizing this event as well as promoting our program conducting the session and also helping us in promoting the science as the theme is very appropriate is breaking barrier in science we uh, that uh, as sir has uh, asked me dr sri sarup has asked me to share my experiences how this uh, uh, odl um, system how it is breaking the barrier and uh, providing the education in science so i will start from that that uh, in the we are offering a program that is master msc environmental science program i will be discussing with you the challenges we faced or uh, the challenges while designing, while development, and also the delivery of the program. What are the innovation methods uh, we have tried to incorporate in delivery of the program? How we have taken the help of digital technologies, which is the need of the hour, which is also uh, uh, is very important for not only for uh, science-based program, but other program also, but how in particular for MSc Environmental Science, we have taken the help of digital uh, technology so that our learner may be benefited. So before this, I would uh, just give you a brief about our MSc Environmental Science Program. MSc Environmental Science Program was launched from School of Interdisciplinary and Transdisciplinary Studies in January 21. And uh, Professor Lalita S. Kumar was uh, always, uh, I mean, she has, uh, in fact, I will say that she has handed our uh, she has holded our hand in designing the program. In uh, She was in the expert committee meeting. She has also helped us how to uh, deliver the program in all the practical based program. And now I'm really happy to see you, ma'am, over here that you are also, uh, I mean, uh, here with the sharing the experience with me. So when we have started designing this MSc Environmental Science program, the barrier was again that how the science-based program can be offered through ODL mode. Because uh, uh, when we looked upon the um, syllabus of uh, MSc Environmental Science program from all over the country, different universities, whether they were central university, because environmental MSc Environment Science program is offered all across the country, whether it is central university, Rajasthan, Kerala, Pondicherry, Bihar, and other central university, um, Banaras University, and uh, Delhi University, JNU, and so many universities. Before designing the syllabus, we have just uh, collected the syllabus. And also because environmental science is also um, uh, included in UGC net examination. That syllabus was also there. So it was very exhaustive. The first uh, challenge before us that how whether the distance education uh, student will be, a, I mean, there should be a justice with the distance education student also, and also the student who are, uh, they should, their knowledge level, their uh, uh, whatever material they are getting, it should not. It should be at par with that. It should be fully updated, and it should be. I mean, we should be able to do justice with the student. So while designing the program, we have collected the uh, all the syllabus from all the university, and now. I can say that the syllabus which we have designed, it is 80% of that UGC syllabus. It is having ICAR net uh, equivalence to that. It is, it is uh, equivalent to GATE, CSIR. So one way while designing the syllabus that we kept in mind that the, the ODL, even we are offering the program through ODL, it is, it is, uh, 
even in fact i say that we get the many times we get the feedback from the student that the program is very updated it has uh, many of the university it is better than many of the uh, good university which are offering the program through face to face the second component in uh, designing the program was that there should not be anything that uh, the I mean, that practical component, the student of ODL, uh, they should also have the proper exposure to practical uh, component. So for that, again, uh, we have, uh, according to uh, policy, that in we have designed the course in a way that each and every semester there was a lab course. So altogether, if we see in MSc Environmental Science, there are 13 core courses. Those core courses were offered through uh, first semester, second semester, and third semester. There are 10 optional courses, student according to their specialization, according to their choice, they can opt for the elective courses or they can select from the basket of the courses. For example, when we uh, like, uh, we know that the theme just now we have seen in the video also and principal sir has also uh, just uh, mentioned that the theme is basic science for sustainable development. Likewise, uh, we have tried to incorporate all the current policy of the government, current program of the government, uh, sustainable development goals beside that the uh, climate change and other things. So these were the theory. When it comes to the practical, how practical uh, all these things can be incorporated into the practical. That's why the idea of keeping three practical courses completely of four credit uh, was uh, developed. And in first, second and third semester, uh, in each semester, one one practical course was offered. The practical were designed in a way that they uh, most of the uh, practicals were from the theory courses so the student can understand the theory part because in science theory and practical are uh, both are important so theory part they can be getting they can get from the theory courses for example fundamentals of environment science and ecology environmental chemistry earth processes and the lab course which was again four credit they, it was uh, having the 20 course 20 practical which were related to these courses like uh, they were uh, courses related to earth process soil they were related to uh, productivity biodiversity there is a uh, uh, chem related to chemistry uh, water analysis ph conductivity meters these are simple experiment but they were divided like that in second semester again the courses according to basis uh, those courses the lab courses was designed and third also and the practical component was kept now uh, designing is easy because we can design anything we can uh, um, but the challenge comes in delivery so while development also we have tried to incorporate now here comes the role of digital technology courses also we have tried to give uh, give the link uh, youtube video and other videos so that the student not only they can get an idea of the theory uh, which is mentioned but also through various videos related to practicals related to applied uh, um, how to apply them those video was embedded those videos incorporated into the study material now um, beside that uh, when we say that uh, delivery Delivery is, as um, Shiv Sarup sir has very rightly, I mean, in the beginning itself, he has briefed that the all the IGNU program is uh, through a uh, network of regional center and study center they are offered. So initially, when we offered this, uh, when we started this program, there were very few study center. And now I will uh, really wanted to thank uh, Dr. Chief Saru. He was uh, one of the very first uh, regional center and regional director who took the initiative to, uh, st to study a uh, study center. He has started the uh, pr practical session and uh, very efficiently he has uh, conducted all the session now our first batch is uh, over i think sir will also share his experience that uh, what how the student has felt and how the lab was uh, conducted so initially very few study centers were there so we that time itself we have tried to use the digital media it was the covid time also so all the classes were conducted online induction session was conducted online 
uh, through now there are 67 region, uh, six, uh, 34 uh, study center for MSc environment science. But that time also we were having more than 20. The induction was conducted online. Weekly classes were uh, conducted online for various um, study center and practical also. Initially, uh, uh, we have identified the virtual labs also because uh, that was COVID time. So many of the virtual labs were identified. Those links were sent to student to study center so that they can get an idea of the labs. And uh, as and when the labs were uh, opened, the lab practical were conducted. As the all the courses of core credit, the criteria, uh, again, uh, was that a 28th session has to be conducted, the regional center or study center in, um, I mean, uh, with the, um, the with the discussion of stakeholder or um, student, the dates were divided or dates were decided whether it has to be conducted on Saturday, Sunday or continuously 14 days. Few study center they have con uh, continuously for 14 days they have conducted and then lab final uh, was conducted and, um, um, the um, I mean, each three courses was com com uh, completed. Now this is uh, second year, and uh, I'm really happy to share with our panelists that most of the study center they have conducted the practical. Now the uh, project component of fourth semester, the student are submitting their project after the approval of synopsis, and um, many of the centers they are conducting the viva. So it was one of the thing that uh, very. Uh, I mean, I, I just wanted to share with the, my um, all the uh, and panelists also and all the students that this for this MSc environment science, there was so much enthusiasm for the student. Initially, when we opened the, um, the eligibility criteria was BSc in science. We have taken only science student. But despite that, we have got 3,000, more than 3,000 students in the first batch. Now conducting the practical for these 3000 students was a big, was a memo task. Many of the students, they were from um, either from Jammu Kashmir. For them, we have opened four study centers in uh, Delhi. They were distributed, reallotted the center and uh, continuously the Delhi center were monitored how the practical sessions were conducted. In Pune also, Sesaru sir will uh, definitely, he will agree with me. There were many students who were from Kerala, Bangalore, Andhra, they have registered for the student, registered for the courses. But when the practical component, uh, how to conduct the practical component, they have requested to attach them from the Pune. Center. So, Sir Sir has accommodated many students. They were repeatedly students were sending mail, WhatsApp, phone num phone. So somehow it was uh, that time it was very difficult. But I am really thankful to Sir that he has managed. And now also I am getting the students' phone call and uh, WhatsApp about that how Sir has accommodated the student, how the practical was con con conducted. So uh, the, there are many things I may have missed, but this is my experience for conducting MSc uh, Environment Science. After first year's overwhelming experience, our uh, overwhelming response and repeated request that the that the MSc Environment Science should be open for BTEC student also for agriculture for veterinary. Even we have um, got the representation from many medical student also that kindly keep it open for medical student also. But uh, for the first time, first uh, I mean we have uh, opened it for agriculture student, forestry student, veterinary student and uh, we have witnessed the number of students uh, enrolled in this program was doubled. So in the second semester after changing uh, the criteria the student are uh, more than 5,000 and we are getting the student. The, the task to complete the practical is uh, really a difficult task but still because uh, IGNU uh, has taken this responsibility our regional centers, study centers, they are they are uh, conducting the practicals and somehow we are uh, breaking the barriers. I, I will use this word, though it is very uh, initial stage, 
like um, that Lalita Madam will share that she is offering the program from past 34 years. Yesterday itself, I was saying to ma'am, I was asking ma'am, ma'am, what you are going to speak? I am having very little experience to share for MSc Environment Science. So, but uh, it is very early to say that we have broken the barrier, but we have made a small efforts to break the barrier, to offer the uh, science education to uh, distance education. I have taken much time, I think. Uh, so if sir permits, sir, I, I want to share a small, uh, uh, I mean, uh, PDF. Actually, how this was conducted, you are having your own record, but I have conducted, I have collected from some study material, uh, some other centers. If you permit me, I would like to share that uh, with the panelists and other things. Okay, madam, please carry on. Please carry on. Please disable participant screen sharing, sir. Uh -huh. Just a minute. This is a small PPD. No, host has yes. disabled. Hmm? Okay. Hmm. 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 Yeah. Yes, it is moving. This is this is the, the one of the study center who has conducted the laboratory coursework for July 21 batch. This is uh, th that is how the the PDF was made. This is just for record. Okay. The groups 40 40 uh, groups and were made. You can see that these were the groups more for 40 40 students were made. And uh, like you can see in the second batch, one student could not attend. In the third batch, two of the students could not cut in. Two students, they dropped in between. This is the list again, group four, group five, 40, 40 students, because there are three, three students. There are many students who could not be accommodated in the first batch, then they were called in the second batch. These, this is the, uh, I mean, many of the uh, RCs has uploaded it in the website also, but this is just like how the experiments were, uh, I mean, um, the date sheet for conducting the experiment Saturday, Sunday, mostly this uh, center has conducted Saturday, Sunday for all the experiment. This is the list table, 40 students, they will made their um, uh, email ID, their mobile number, their name, and the student were mailed repeatedly to uh, conduct the, how they can come and attend the courses. This is the list of the student. These are the labs, second year, first year. So this is just a document. These are the list of the participant mail ID. This is one of the uh, thing I would like to share. There is one more uh, center that uh, we have. One second. Each study center is unique in that way. <laughs> this is feedback of the student we have collected from many centers. Voice is not coming. It is through mobile, I think. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Yes, it is coming. Uh, no. mm -hmm. Voice is not coming. Okay. I mean, uh, likewise, there are a few more centers we where we have conducted that, how they have conducted, what innovation methods they have used, their feedbacks, counselors' feedback, that also we have collected. In this regard, sir, I will request uh, sir also, so it's Steve Sir Ruth, sir also, that we'll be sending you the Google form in that we are collecting the feedback from the, because just uh, two years are going to be over once the two years are completed. We are collecting the feedback from the counselors we are collecting feedback from the student and feedback from the coordinators so that we in the next batch we can improve those uh, 
uh, whatever the shortcoming, definitely there are shortcoming, definitely the student were in panic mode in uh, one or some uh, time or other. So we are trying to, um, um, our possibly uh, best ways to remove those, uh, those uh, drawbacks. So in that we, again, we need the support of all the counselor. For this, uh, Steve Sarut sir has uh, done a very good uh, initiative that he has included MSc Environment Science also so that we can get, uh, I mean, directly I can get a feedback of the counselors that what is their experience, how can we make this program more uh, uh, learner friendly and more uh, desirable. So with this, uh, thank you so much for inviting me. Thank you so much for giving me this opportunity. And uh, definitely uh, I'll be after some time, I mean, after collecting the feedback from all the counselors, definitely I'll be coming again to you. And uh, uh, I mean, like we'll be able to share my experiences. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Sachisha, and uh, for a wonderful presentation. And it is a excellent uh, cut and riser for the event. Yeah, this is this, they discuss the science education through Open University, and you started from course uh, planning to implementation. Yeah. Uh, as you said, uh, implementation is the ultimate step where students feel how it is effectively done. And I should thank our uh, coordinator, Dr. Siddiqui, and all the counselors to for effectively carrying out. You know, we will listen from top to bottom from the course designers, program coordinators to co coordinators of uh, the study center, counselor, and also students' feedback. Thank you very much. But uh, now I request Halda to carry forward. Uh, Ignu has set an example uh, of inclusive education and. Uh, before the implementation of NEP, IGNU has started to collect the feedback from various stakeholders. So, which is one of the, you know, uh, the best assets of IGNU, I can say. And always it is a matter of joy to hear from uh, such experienced pro professor and the professor of chemistry, Professor Lalita Kumar. Now I'll request Professor Lalita Kumar to share her experience re regarding the topic. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Dr. Halder. Uh, I hope I have spelled your name correctly. So, yes, uh, all right, all right. So, um, I think uh, Dr. UC Pandey is not there, but then uh, uh, my dear friends, uh, Professor Shati Shah and Dr. Siva Swaroop, very close friends, you know, both of them, uh, Dr. O.P. Sharma, Principal Hesloff uh, College, uh, I mean, I don't remember the name, all the academic counselors who have come to you know this particular meet all the students you know who have been our dearest students you know i mean uh, the biggest stakeholders i really uh, welcome them and you know i really take it as a privilege today to share some of my experiences and of course on the invitation of dr p swarup uh, and you know this is i mean how in IGNU, over a journey of 34 years, I've had you know, 34 years of experience as uh, Professor Shachi Shah was saying. So you know, from a very humble background, where have we come? Uh, I will like to share, but uh, I may take a little time. Uh, I will like to share uh, my experience through my slide. Um, I would like to share. And, you know, I wish to, first of all, thank uh, Shachi for uh, really acknowledging more than required because, uh, you know, I mean, for whatever little help uh, or whatever little guidance I could, you know, being in the system. Thank you, Shachi, for that, of course. So, uh, please, I'm sharing my screen also. Uh, Uh, hopefully it's uh, it's it's visible no yes ma'am it is visible yeah. but make it uh, ppt mode ma'am um, but you know to me it is showing uh, the proper mode only actually i don't know uh, on my screen it is uh, on this i'll i'll come back i think huh, na? in that case uh, why it is showing visible, so you can go it's visible you can go no problem mm -hmm. okay but uh, but it is not in uh, that presentation mode dr swaroop no. no, it is not in a presentation mode. Okay, shall I shall I uh, go back and come again? 
you no, can what do you say? They are visible. They okay, are visible. okay. I think uh, instead of wasting time, we will just uh -huh, move you forward. Continue, no problem. Sure, 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 sure. So, uh, uh, I mean, as per Dr. Swaroop's, uh, what do you say, <laughs> direction? So, we should be speaking about the uh, breaking barriers in science education. Uh, what exactly is the role of uh, open distance learning and specifically, of course, IGNU? So, uh, you know, I'll uh, like to, of course, you know, we've talked a lot about uh, GWB. We know that this particular meet is specifically for women uh, candidates in science, and it is very, very crucial. Uh, it's very, very evident to all of us. And, you know, I one thing before <clears throat> moving, I wish to say most of us, you know, for today's meet are very well versed with the uh, IGNO system and all of us know this ODL and everything. Uh, but still, you know, maybe uh, it is just putting my thoughts into this systematic form so that we get some food for thought uh, for further improvements and otherwise. So, um, see, uh, when we talk about science education in general, we know what are the barriers uh, out of which, you know, where we say uh, I mean, to begin with, science was available most of the times only at district level. The rural world, you know, was uh, not even, you know, getting a college wherein the girls or wherein the students could go. The girls, I mean, they would not go travel far. Uh, and the men, I mean, the boys or the male students were still traveling to uh, maybe, you know, the city colleges and all. Even if there was a college, there was lack of good infrastructure. Yeah, science programs involve a lot of lab work and everything, but you know, uh, this also uh, was really not good at most of the places. And talking of materials, most of the uh, transaction, most of the teaching learning process involved face-to-face uh, -face, uh, uh, transaction. And you know, uh, I mean, there is always variation as far as, you, uh, I mean, delivery of uh, the curriculum is concerned. Then there were very limited domains. I mean, science was supposed to be only, you know, those pure disciplines, maybe physics, chemistry, uh, biology, or maths, something like this. And, you know, we know the barriers with women, especially taking STEM into consideration. Science, technology, engineering, maths was supposed to be not for girls, you know. So uh, lack of research facilities have always been there when one wanted to move, you know, uh, towards higher education. Learner support, uh, as because, you know, the infrastructure was poor, so learner support also uh, is generally not found. Then digitalization of education, the, uh, the matter of access, you know, how do you, if you are not able to reach to an institution, how do you get education of that kind? And then because the modes of delivery, as I said, you know, most of it was face to face. You know, if you had to study, you had to go to a college, you had to take admission after going, I mean, maybe in long queues, getting admission and then going to the college every day for your theory, for your lab work. And if we talk about, you know, the women specific barriers, I think there are umpteen, most of us know, uh, you know, the women, are, uh, you know, have been facing a lot of problems at their personal school level and societal and cultural uh, levels, barriers. So uh, talking of personal barriers, we know that the girls themselves are, you know, highly, I mean, very, very, they have a low self-esteem. They are not self-motivated. Then the child marriage, girls get married very soon and the family also doesn't support. The school level factors include, you know, uh, the lack of support from teachers also. Sometimes the teachers have to act like role models, you know, for the girl students to get motivated. And sometimes uh, the girl students themselves are not interested in going to school. Then we have a lot of social, societal and cultural biases. The stereotype that Education is not essential for girls. And in fact, science uh, is not, you know, the uh, girl child's uh, forte only. So these are, you know, the women specific barriers since we are talking about the uh, GWD specifically. 
Well, uh, in IGNU, as I said that, you know, we, uh, and I have also been involved right from the inception, ever since we launched our science programs in 1991, and the objectives overall, I'm putting these objectives, you know, in a very brief manner, uh, because of the paucity of time also, so that, you know, we can hear and listen to others too. So the objective was knowledge gain. And, you know, here I have listed the programs which we have been offering from sciences. We started from only BSc program, but then gradually I, there were a number of PG diploma, diploma, certificate programs, awareness programs, and uh, finally the PhD, the highest level program also has been included. So, you know, it, uh, I mean, the programs relevant to knowledge gain, capacity building wherein, you know, our CPLT, CTP, MPG, DAC fall in, job opportunities, you know, all the programs give you job opportunity because of their higher level, because these are all tertiary uh, level programs. Then skill enhancement, needless to say, you know, most of the science programs have either, you know, uh, the uh, skills of very analytical skills are there, psychomotor skills are there. So we have totally, you know, which are totally uh, lab based and all. Then uh, we had promotional avenues through these programs. 100%, you know, the students have been taking these programs because they wanted to get promotion in wherever they were. So for that matter, a graduation of program like laboratory techniques or CTPM. Uh, and now, of course, we have added, you know, stats. We have, you know, environmental studies. Uh, Shachi has told so much about MSc environmental sciences. And we know, you know, any industry, any such organization will require, you know, environmental scientists. So it has so much of relevance. And of course, now PhD, I mean, needless to say, you know, now it's almost... Uh, I, essential for all of them to go higher in their careers. Then most importantly, entrepreneurship. See, I mean, through a program is really successful only when it can give you a, a you know, a, a self a kind of a, a self-employment and entrepreneurship skills. So we have, you know, uh, here programs like Diploma in Aquaculture, which, you know, you don't have to really look for an organization to get an employment. You can start your own uh, startups, you know. Uh, now, Dr. Opi Sharma may will come up with many uh, such innovative uh, ideas, you know, by which the students have started, their, uh, I mean, they have initiated startups and they have reached heights. They are getting awards for that. So uh, if we talk about uh, ODL programs, or you can say open distance learning uh, in IGNU, I mean, it is nothing is new for all of us, you know, who are today in this meet. We know the core values of IGNU programs. We know that there is a lot of flexibility, flexibility in terms of age, time, money, anything you count, reaching the unreached, reaching to having an inclusive education, which means, you know, going to, I mean, and a very live example of all this implementing ODL to masses is our uh, senior regional director, uh, Dr. Sivas Rao himself, as he has said, you know, I keep telling him, I mean, he has reached to the levels where we had never thought of. Garchiroli is a live example of wherein, you know, I mean, the um, self, I mean, what do you call um, uh, these? I mean, uh, all those people who are involved in different uh, a uh, different kind of uh, work, you know, and irrespective of gender, caste, whatever you may say. So, I mean, all those virtues being with ODL and reaching to the masses, reaching to the doorstep of people. So that what we said only at district level, we said it was a barrier. But now we know the length and breadth of the country is being really mapped by our ODL programs. Poor infrastructure, we, we have world-class infrastructure. We have in place regional centers, which were once upon a time in hired institutions, but now, you know, they have their own buildings. We have umpteen number of study centers, as I was hearing, listening to uh, Professor Shah also, like, you know, she has mentioned how these study centers have come up for different programs. So uh, infrastructure is not at all a problem. We talked about materials and now we have, 
I think uh, if not hundreds, but at least good tens of uh, ways to transact our uh, study material, uh, I mean our curriculum. So we have uh, self-learning materials, we have audio videos, we have, uh, I think a plethora of e-content material available in our websites. Limited domains, now, I mean, that's a passe. So once we, start in sciences, we started with BSc. Now, as I said, you know, we are into all kinds of programs, capacity building or, you know, skill development or knowledge domain or anything for that matter and self-entrepreneurship. Uh, so IGNU, of course, all of us know that has been offering now more than almost 300 programs, if this, uh, that is correct. Research opportunity, Ever since you know uh, our uh, um, uh, university became active uh, in offering this program, like you know, I myself have a good number of students. Since 2009, we've been into uh, exhaustively involved in research programs, and since 2016, now we are under UGC ambit, and we are able to uh, actually you know offer full fledged with full uh, I think you know rules, regulations, and everything. Then learner support. I think, uh, needless to say, multifaceted learner support is there. And I will uh, come a little uh, after this slide. Mode of delivery, again, multiple modes. We have multiple media, not only the media, we, we are exploring anything and everything possible. All the channels Lalita. of uh, Lalita. users. Yeah. One minute, your slides are not moving. Are you is moving it? or not? No. Okay. Uh, where moving. are you? Where exactly are you? Look, it is only first slide, breaking the title slide only. Oh, uh, that's why, you know, I said that just a minute, I'll stop sharing. I'll share it again. I, uh, you uh -huh. know, let me just share it again. When you said um, it's the next I, slide, I thought that uh, you... No, 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 no. I good. will, I will scroll. I'll scroll okay, uh, okay. quickly. Okay. So I have selected my, this one, but then why is it not... Um, share i have said is there any problem from uh, see this and then you know i come to uh, partic participants can see your application is correct so well, suppose i say uh, just a minute uh, uh, i have said uh, just a minute is it is it moving uh, sorry no. No. no but no. it's moving for me it is not do i have it. Do I have to uh, click something? You go from presentation from beginning. I'll go. I I'll think you can, you can continue the way you were doing without uh, showing slides. Oh, <laughs> no, sir, just, I know it gets boring after some time. I can understand Dr. Because Sharma's. I, that, that extempo kind of thing is uh, better because slide is not moving. Uh, are, are, uh, but you know uh, uh, that's what I was thinking ki why uh, why didn't like I thought it was all moving only see because you know I am sharing but what could be the uh, okay maybe sometimes. maybe just one sec uh, one more this one is there uh, let me just and now um, we got women specific barriers it is now oh, it's okay ma'am now it's yes visible. yes I think there was certain <laughs> I'm so sorry for this glitch. Had you told me earlier, I would have again shared it. <laughs> I was thinking that you are uh, explaining part. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay. It's completely Carry augmented. Achha, I will, okay. but you know, we were here. So uh, women specific care barriers, uh, we came and then, you know, can you just beat it now? It is not moving for, ah, moving, moving. So I moving. talked yes. about, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. It's, is it moving for you people? Yes, yes. Perfectly. Uh, so yes, I talked about programs. Yes. Right. So this was this, and then I talked about breaking barriers. Yes. Right. Or uh, yes. and then uh, the oh, okay, okay, okay. We are at the, okay. no problems. So here we were. Right. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry yes. if I'm taking a few more minutes, sir. Huh? No, so no. And now, yeah, yeah. So now comes uh, the most crucial part because you know all of what whatever I talked was more or less known to everyone. Just putting it into the slide was the thing. Now you know uh, the key indicators. How are how do we say that you know we are breaking barriers? So what? See, this is my most of it is my not taken from somewhere, but then it is my personal opinion. But 
augmented by research which we conducted in our earlier years okay so in my opinion the barriers how are we breaking or how are the women breaking the barriers can be known by increase in enrollment in different programs that is the first visibility which makes us uh, you know like which tells us yes there is some uh, this thing then dropout rate ob obviously everything is interrelated but dropout rate pass percentage because pass percentage only gets gives a motivation for either you know not dropping out or uh, uh, i mean uh, say decrease in attrition rate then usage of technology and ict tools how are uh, the learners using these tools makes also no yes you know they are really breaking they are really removing that glass ceiling and coming on to the uh, i mean the uh, common stream then placement in different organizations is one of the actual and i i feel you know most of the students are worried you know if we are taking an uh, and uh, if we are taking admission in a particular program so what is the what is the uh, what are the prospects what are the job prospects so the success stories tell us about that and uh, this is substantiated by feedback from teachers as experts peers academic counselors and the learners <clears throat> so you know this was uh, done by me on, in 2020 when there was lockdown there was a webinar in karnal along with some of the us counterparts wherein you know i worked for 2020 and 22 this is a recent data but let me just qualify because you know it was difficult uh, the, because of the paucity of time i could not take it for many years but i took out from my study itself the percentage of the female candidates in the first decade of enrollment was as low as 15% and you know this is after we conducted a study we found such a low such a low presence of the uh, women candidates which reached almost to 30% in the next decade and this is the situation as of in 2020 and 2022 so <clears throat> see very surprising maths uh, which is a pg program in computer applications imagine you know they had you know 44 50 i mean it comes to almost 50% which is so encouraging for uh, i think gwb you, one can really present this uh, our data to the international uh, you know people so bsc g similarly it had low but then it has also increased pgdsc uh, it, it, i find it you know quite applicable for the ones you know who want to get into uh, say pg uh, like uh, industry and all so 2022 it has gone, i mean gone above 50% all these things you know surprise me too then there is one you know uh, this is <clears throat> geology program geoinformatics so here we have you know and see it's so easy to rationalize the data uh, for these two programs especially keeping in mind the uh, the inhibition of our girl students uh, to vis a vis stem so science technology engineering mathematics is not the, they think you know is not their forte so when it comes to geo informatics the enrollment goes down similarly statistics so statistics also has shown a little lower percentages but ctpm is for you see here i want to make a special mention ctpm is our primary teacher uh, mathematics uh, certificate program imagine you know in 2020 i mean again more than 50% now this is 22 data imagine they have surpassed the male counterparts and that could be you know because at primary level uh, there are more uh, female teachers you know so i mean it's so easy to relate this data to uh, the dw uh, whatever you know the women counterpart and all cplt again has almost to the 50% it is again you know something which can really uh, help them in getting their job prospects so this was the first indicator that is enrollment then comes the dropout rate here i will like like to mention one of the study which we conducted for the first batch of students uh you know who uh, uh, dropped from 1998 to 2004 and 2024 uh, 24 and then you know we had 250 ka sample where in uh, there were number of re reasons which were analyzed which i would just in a, a comprehensive way i'll put it in the uh, last of my slide but uh, uh, but you know distance it was you know the distance which had marred uh, their uh, presence actually so 
I mean, th all those things which have shortened the distance vis-a-vis -vis ODL have actually caused the success of also these programs. The situation is, of course, now improved. Another study we did, you know, in-service teacher training program study was for the in-service teachers, uh, CPDT, uh, DPT. It was, you know, again, a, a certificate uh, program. And wherein, you know, we concluded that ODL plays important and viable role in improving overall teaching learning process for large numbers. So mass education was always in use for it. Pass percentage. Uh, you know, this was a recent data which I came across from our website itself. And, you know, according to this, overall uh, average pass out percentage of IGNU, I mean, it is increased to 37.35. But for schools, uh, School of Sciences, the, they had the, in, you know, in the lower category. I, I think it calls for a lot of attention uh, towards, of course, you know, all the stakeholders, uh, I should say. And there are some reasons to it. Uh, and PGDAC surprisingly um, had, you know, they have written this statement. I have copied from there. This is 2018 planning ka data. The PGDAC has the maximum pass out rate, 34 point, uh, this one among all the programs. And, you know, I'm sure, you know, uh, directors like uh, P. Swaroop have a lot of contribution towards it. Uh, so, uh, and comes the, I think this is uh, the usage of uh, ICT tools. Uh, another study we did, you know, in mobile technology that, you know, we, at that time, mobile technology was just developing. So, you know, I, along with my uh, colleague, Professor Pozdar, we conducted just to gauge, you know, how were people I, conversant to this technology? And it, we found it very encouraging. And today, I'm sure, you know, the SMS, I mean, every student uh, is really, you know, making use of it uh, in, a, in the best way. And of course, the Gyan Darshan, Gyan Mani, Swam Prabha, and uh, you know, I would like to highlight web enabled academic support. We have the director with us who would definitely enlighten us, um, enlighten all the academic counselors more towards it. And I want to, at this point of time, say, uh, you know, that there are uh, study centers, you know, who are not aware of this particular portal, which is now, you know, as of today one of the most, uh, uh, what do you say, user-friendly and apt for the students. But you know, that person from Dehradun told me we are not aware of it. And today, Dr. Siddiqui also said that somehow, ma'am, we don't know about VIAS. I think we really need to connect to these uh, academic counselors for that. Online admission has made life easy for all those women who never wanted to stand in queues and then come for the admissions, Egan Kosh, the repository, and uh, so on and so forth. And above that, Academic counseling by using Facebook Live, Google Meet, WebEx, Zoom, and YouTube. Why have I listed all this here is because, you know, as you know, the visits or when, when one looks into uh, the visits in these pages, pages, we find, you know, number of students now getting onto it. And that, that is what shows, you know, that, okay, yes, they are, it, is, it has made life so comfortable for them sitting at home. So that makes a lot of a difference. This is the final uh, indicator, placement cell. So um, uh, we have, all of us know that we have a campus placement cell in place since 2005. It facilitates the gainful employment, you know, to, I mean, all the, the I mean, say the whole plethora of students and uh, the uh, drives, the recruitment drives, job fairs and whatnot. I mean, this is one of, again, I should say, you know, one of the very important uh, initiatives of the university, which we thought, you know, was the forte of maybe IITs or uh, something like, you know, where students come out with flying colors and all. And here, again, I will not stop from uh, mentioning Dr. P. Swaroop, who said that, who, according to which, you know, 100% job placement for IGNU tribal students in Gatchiroli. I'm, I mean, hats off to uh, him for getting, you know, I mean, those people who could have never thought that they could even get literate. So, I mean, really hats off. And I will I not bore you too much, but, you know, finally, this is the uh, final slide of mine, which says, Still, you know, we are talking a lot of breaking the barriers, but when it comes to science education, we have, you know, a lot of challenges. 
every day we know that you know students are crying for you know getting the labs done they are you know not able to submit assignments and uh, somehow you know there is a lack of coordination so this was out of our study you know which was conducted wherein you know that they say that study center too far from residence we are still you know fiddling with this wherever we have less number of students you know they are never the study center is also not allowed to conduct the labs so they have to come to a distance you know i have come across you know there is no study center for pgdac and cplt in our kolkata regional center for which you know students uh, travel to bhubaneswar they go to bjb college you know so i mean i, I mean every day some or the other uh, their problems academic support from study center is also missing at times Uh, they say program is too time consuming the uh, i mean the materials are high quality actually it is not their fault and the distance and then interaction their peer group interaction is not there because no, they are not meeting at the study centers and uh, difficult term and examination uh, paper was also one of their problem counseling insufficient counseling session they have been always cribbing for very long for science uh, subjects you know till you have you are face to face it becomes difficult for you to understand and sometimes lack of response from study center and i mean i would be i should be pardoned for if i say that sometimes they are not getting responses from the regional center also so finally you know what does marie curie say life is not easy for any of us but what of that we must have perseverance and above all confidence in ourselves thank you so much and um, i think you know i will really uh, uh, though it's late but i am i would love to listen to of course after dr sharma uh, the, all those um, what do you say i mean the academic counselors and our students who are the uh, say the biggest stakeholders thank you so much for giving me this opportunity and this is i consider it to be my privilege uh, sharing you know this little uh, experience thank you so much thank you professor lalita for uh, giving a uh, excellent uh, scientific presentation on oh, the well. science barriers <laughs> thank <laughs> you so much okay i, I am happy that uh, there is a good uh, gathering of uh, pg dsc program coordinator and also our uh, uh, academic counselors for pg dsc both dr siddiqui and dr haldar yeah, and dr mata yeah. deshmukh they are uh, senior academic counselor for this subject exactly and today we have one pg dsc gold medalist also yeah, in the to give her pg yeah, back yeah please. i so, saw dr. that i was so happy dr haldar please can uh, madam your guidance is always a blessing for all of us this type of interaction always help us to achieve academic standard ma'am thank you so much <laughs> now uh, the next one uh, dr op sharma director ncid in ignun sir please express your opinion thank you dr haldar good afternoon to all of you dr shiv swarup ji dr lalita kumar professor sachi sa professor prashant chekle ji principal of the school college all the academic counselors teachers and students it is really my great pleasure to share my views on this very important topic breaking barriers in a science education what professor lalita uh, and professor sachi sa have shared that indicates that barriers are now breaking we all agree that barriers are now breaking more and more number of uh, girl student women are now joining the science stream they are not only joining they are excelling in their area they are reaching very great heights in this if i share with you some data we all know that around uh, this uh, population is a half half we all know almost uh, all over the world but if we talk about the stem graduates uh, in india then it is uh, around 43% girls they are they are studying the graduation level in science technology engineering mathematics etc so it's a, it's not a a uh, very good number as compared to 50% we we have to reach to that that 7% gap we'll have to just yet fill up but if you compare it with the other other countries that i have taken from in us it is around 34% and in germany it is 27% so 
so i can say the india is in a better position so you can say the ground these barriers are now breaking and uh, but still there are certain uh, areas if we talk about the uh, research scientists all over the world there is a huge gap still for particularly for the women around 30% only uh, world research scientists are women so that is a matter of concern for all of us i think we'll have to make some special efforts for that purpose and uh, before making the special efforts we'll have to look into the the barriers also what are the different barriers and uh, what kind of uh, um, initiatives uh, uh, measures we can take in that direction beta प्रॉब्लम है कहीं से आवाज आ रही है नहीं और क्या गेम क्या कैन कैन म्यूट देम प्लीज डॉक्टर शिल्पा गेम डॉक्टर शिल्पा यस 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 राइट थैंक यू एज फार एज बैरियर्स आर कंसर्न आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट द गर्ल्स एंड वीमेन इन द फील्ड ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी Uh, professor lalita kumar has very elaborately described the barriers but i would like to say there are few misconceptions or we can say the wrong mindsets which we all have in our society as far as uh, uh, admission of uh, enrollment of girl child girls and women in a science system is concerned uh, firstly um, normally people say that science or particularly the math and physics Uh, th this is not for the girls it was there but now it is breaking more and more girls uh, are taking admission so this is a kind of mindset in society that uh, is now changing uh, second um, uh, barrier that used to be in our society that was that science is difficult it is not the cup of tea for the girls but uh, we have seen the girls are doing anything whatever uh, a boy cannot do so that also is now breaking Uh, it is not uh, difficult once you go into this go into uh, deeply into um, into the the field of science and technology you will find it is joyful it is uh, interesting and you will find uh, that uh, i should i should do much and much uh, in this direction uh, this uh, this kind of uh, mindset is now changing and change is because of many reasons we know this is because of the literacy uh literacy is uh, now uh, increasing uh, technology is uh, playing great role in this context social media is playing great role in this context to uh, to make people aware of uh, these all things like uh, anybody the girl or uh, marginalized or the disadvantaged people socio economically people or uh, even the disabled people also you, you know the visually impaired people sometimes we say that they cannot study the science but now the technology is making it a uh, um, uh, easier for them also to break the barrier barrier in as far as the science and technology education is concerned so these all awareness and technological components they are helping in this context facility of course uh, it has been a uh, great challenge uh, particularly in the rural rural areas uh, even in the uh, in the cities the facility was not there facility to commute for the girls Uh, boys could come but the girls were, could not become could not come to the to the to the colleges or the schools in the far flung areas but now as the facilities are increasing um, education system are being set up nearby the, uh, uh, the the areas in the villages or in other small towns then that is certainly increasing the access to the education and when access to education is increasing certainly the access access to science education is also increasing so that we the this barrier is now uh, again breaking uh, the the barrier of uh, language has always been a very um, challenging because uh, we know uh, it is not only for the girls it is uh, for everybody uh, when you talk about the science and technology and particularly at the higher education level then you will find that most of our um, uh, A regional language is school teaching is that is in the um, is in the in the regional languages in the regions. So if they are coming uh, in higher education, they suddenly find a change. That change is uh, mainly in uh, in English. So that has been a great barrier. 
and particularly for the for the women and the girl student uh, it was very difficult uh, to cope up if they have not gone uh, through that kind of um, system so now with this national education policy providing that kind of uh, education science and technology education in a regional language um, you know this uh, engineering education medical education they all have been initiated to 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 be provided in the um, in um, regional languages i am sure that this will help in a in attracting more and more girl student towards the um, the these subjects science subjects so that kind of uh, uh, barriers are now being breaking uh, broken with the help of uh, uh, these regional language programs programs in regional languages uh, particularly in the rural areas another important or very challenging um, barrier that has been that was the finance because uh, uh, in our society uh, normally people they they can spend anything in the name of the son or uh, boy but they th this is a truth no, don't take it otherwise but this is a truth as far as the girls are concerned they will say uh, what will you do by spending this kind of work but now the finances are also uh, being taken care by the uh, by the government special provisions are being provided uh, for the girl child to continue science and technology studies uh, higher studies that is the one aspect and uh, second most important aspect is the universities like us uh, indira gandhi national open university other open universities which uh, which don't require much kind of uh, uh, finances uh, to be spent on science and technology education so this igno and odl they are also helping in breaking the barriers uh, not only in terms of access not only in terms of uh, uh, language barriers not only in terms of finances in 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 all aspects uh, the open and distance learning system uh, particularly to my senior colleagues they have presented how igno is helping uh, to attract the girls and women in the science and technology field so that is the way how the barriers are being broken and uh, uh, other important thing uh, which are now day by day ha happening they are the basically the availability of uh, a number of open educational resources open educational resources not only in uh, in um, english but even in the regional languages many uh, uh, universities are creating and that is helping across the country uh, so the girl student even um, any disadvantage or marginalized um, person they can take advantage of uh, this kind of open educational resources uh, that is happening um, access to higher education i have shared with you or uh, the odl system and an igno they are very much providing and the examples uh, in detail they have been uh, shared with you by my colleagues uh, availability of the learning material in the in the regional languages uh, nep is uh, is very much uh, encouraging uh, not only encouraging but uh, promoting uh, all the um, university higher education university and uh, you know our university has already taken a great initiative with the help of regional centers um, to convert the study material into regional language and once that uh, study material of science and technology is available in regional language i'm sure it will break the barriers barrier of language at least and more and more number of uh, uh girl and women will join the uh, one thing you will you will notice that uh, when we talk about the uh, the scientists that these are the scientists and uh, this is my role role model i'm inspired by this in that case you will find there are less less number of women scientists which are being posed as role model so this is now our duty duty of the uh, academics uh, um or the people like us we should try to find out the role model from among the women from among the marginalized people and tell that that this particular person this particular lady can reach to that height in the field of science and technology you can also then if we are able to do this kind of uh, work then i think uh, that will enhance and increase the uh, um, the, the enrollment and uh, attraction towards this uh, science and technology programs and the science and technology jobs also so these success stories as a role model if we are able to highlight and um, put for uh, before these um, young children then that will help uh, in breaking the barriers 
um, and also uh, this uh, all we know that science because um, it's a uh, very we can say the misconception only i can say it's uh, considered to be difficult so if you are able to make it by more joyful interesting hands on then certainly uh, more and more number of uh, the persons will come and then uh, it will help uh, in breaking the barriers so we should try our level best by removing these all barriers uh, gradually collectively individually and i'm sure things are happening that's why the data shows that uh, the the attraction of girls and women is increasing day by day their uh, their role their responsibilities in different areas uh, in, as far as employment and uh, other things are concerned that's also increasing so thank you very much uh, for giving me this opportunity to share with you my my views on breaking the barriers in uh, science education in this context uh, one example of mine i would like to share that uh, if you provide science education particularly the uh, science literacy education among the people masses um, in their language that we call the normally you call the popular science popularization science communication if this kind of uh, uh, responsibility we all take and try to uh, popularize science among the people uh, in the society then you will find more and more girls and women they will be attracted towards the science they will try uh, uh, they will be able to understand the, the 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 importance of science they will appreciate the science and technology and that will certainly um, give uh, a kind of um, uh, attraction towards um, science and technology so i have been doing this kind of thing i have been bringing out a magazine science at uh, uh, that uh, vigyan aapke liye that is a popular science magazine in hindi i have seen that the magazine is so simple language is so simple and understood um, even the very very difficult concepts like artificial intelligence robotics we are giving articles in that magazine and then i find that housewives they are reading that artificial intelligence a housewife is reading certainly uh, she is she must be finding it a very um, uh, useful interesting for her so if you are able to provide science and technology in that form uh, so that it is uh, relating to our day to life relating to our activities making it uh, um, interesting providing its application um, uh, to our life then i i hope um, it will uh, break the barriers towards science and technology so this also is a important uh, responsibility we should all uh, share and then come forward and uh, do something in this context thank you very much namaskar correctly said very thank true. you dr <laughs> thank you dr opi sharma for very comprehensive view on the barriers and how we are breaking it and uh, i wish to share that dr opi sharma is also coordinator for the national science day celebrations in igno and i wish to say sharma that uh, our students from nagpur region they are also sending their essays for the science day competitions and i am also further happy to say that uh, our students in the nagpur central jail study center we got around eight essays and uh, five posters we are sending them to you for to this be is, this is exactly the, the way this is exactly the way how we can break the barrier Yes, we are breaking the barriers of the jail jail walls yes, by spreading really. education. Thank you, Dr. Sharma. Uh, extensive use of ICT in IGNU is one of the remarkable achievement, and it was assumed that ICT will create digital barrier, but eventually, actually, it is bridging the gap in education. So, uh, our next. Uh, panelist is dr naki siddiqui who is a academic counselor of pgdse program so i will invite dr siddiqui to express his her views on the topic breaking the barriers in science education through open university ma'am thank you so much sir for inviting me so i am good evening to one and all present here i am dr naki jahan siddiqui working as a program coordinator at this institute at this center 
but at the same time i am acting as a academic counselor also so both the responsibilities are over me so uh, i welcome all you for this program on uh, breaking barriers in science education through open university i have been invited here for giving the feedback of my center so i am i am i want to express sincere thanks first of all to lalita kumar ma'am who has appreciated our work here for the pgdse program so i am thankful that she has given an information that 34.06 pass out rate is from pgdse and from our center also many of the students are there at the same time they have got one uh, sir has already told you that uh, one of the student has got the gold medal also so that is a very appreciable for thing for me also so thank you so much ma'am and sir so uh, institute of science is a very old prestigious institute at nagpur where basic sciences studies are carried out that the students who come from uh, at the center are not only from nagpur but out of nagpur also uh, but at the same time they are from different places of maharashtra and even out of maharashtra also so we are a bit uh, we are here uh, are a bit a little bit strict for the students so many of the students have a complaint that they want some uh, chut from the <laughs> attending the practicals but we are not allotting them the uh, uh, flexibility for the conduction of the practicals but the students enjoy here the feedback from the students is that they are enjoying the practicals which are conducted here so i am thankful to the students also who are enjoying the practicals at institute of science now at the same time uh i want to just convey sir and all you that msc environment have been started here and it has been going on so for your information uh, to all the students and the academic counselors at present at institute of science we are having six different subjects one is a post graduate diploma in analytical chemistry which was started in 2010 11 then we have bsc also we are having a certificate program of cplt then we have with the continuous efforts of dr shiv sarup sir he has uh, uh, taken the opportunity because at institute we were having msc environment already but the capacity of the institute to take up the student for pg was only 11 students so this was taken this opportunity was taken by shiv sarup sir and he insisted that we should start msc environment also and it would and permission was given by the then director dr atram sir for starting the practical for starting this course at so at this uh, therefore we have been started we have started this from 2021 and uh, now i think uh, it is the first batch who is going to be uh, completing the course in that case we have completed madam we have completed all the practicals of uh, ms environment 11l 12n 13l at the same time the projects have also been finished and the uh, projects are also submitted also but and the schedule of the viva is also given out we have uh, conduct we have uh, set up the schedule for 16 17 and 18th february so the students might come on 16 17 16 to 18 for conducting the project also so it is uh, ha huh, so it is a very uh, when all the students say that madam this is the first bad that we are coming from here and all over india we have the report that none of the students are uh, com- less number of the students are completing this and out of that we are the first so it is a privilege for us also that the first batch is coming out so they are very happy now they have done all the practicals we have invited sarup sir also and he she, he has guided the students also so we have taken different competitions among them so they enjoyed the, so most the, the first thing uh, what we faced uh, during the summers that students were not uh, uh, ready to attend the 14 days practical so it was a very difficult situation for us ki how to manage the number of because the number of students who attend the practical were 82 and most of the students were from out of nagpur so they wanted the practicals to be conducted in short limited but we said that it is not possible if you want you can attend the practical if you don't want you can attend whenever you it is possible for you but the strictness we show it proved to be a uh, fruitful for them also now they were saying that madam because you compelled us so we did the practicals and now within the time limit we are capable of completing the degree course also so that is a very good thing from institute of science we have already attended uh, we have already conducted the bsc practicals cplt practicals are going on pgdse practicals are going on and thus we have completed almost all practicals and uh, sir uh, only one thing we have left that bsc biochemistry 
that was a honor subject the students were unable to attend so that was the only thing that we have left with otherwise we have completed all the theory all the practicals the students are uh, getting the good results also one of the student uh, has scored now 85% one student is there she is among us also roma shah she has secured about 85% in bsc and she is ready for uh, she was uh, trying for a gold medal so uh, she was a regular student no doubt she did her practical very good so there are students who are doing the practicals very 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 efficiently conduct uh, attending all the theory all the practicals so this is the this is the feedback of the center ma'am so if anybody is having any queries about uh, anything that we are conducting so i am ready to answer that also thank you thank you so much <laughs> lalita kumar ma'am thank you ma'am ha uh, yeah she has visited thank institute and she was very much uh, uh, she was appreciating this institute a lot so i am thankful definitely. to ma'am also no definitely so on of this program i am thankful to shiv sarup sir for guiding and motivating me for conducting all the whenever i take any any uh, inquiry from him he guides very well similarly i am thankful to my team who is working at institute without whom the conduction of practical and theory is impossible among which i am thankful to director institute of science dr rahat gaukar ma'am all the academic counselors of all the subjects including botany zoology chemistry physics mathematics and environmental science and all my support staff without whom this running of this study center was impossible so i am thankful for all the participants and students also without whom the course would have not been possible thank you so much ma'am thank you so much sir thank you thank, thank you ma'am so for much. sharing your experience thank you our next uh, panelist is dr lata deshmukh she has a, a vast experience in the field of chemistry education uh, for the for more than 3 decades she has retired as vice principal of hislop college and uh, nearly 10 students have been awarded phd in her uh, guidance she is also a well known face in the field of social ser services as secretary of matru seva sang a well known ngo in central india her views will be a matter of joy for all of us ma'am lata ma'am dr lata deshmukh madam is she there she is there come next question okay uh, the next panelist uh, is dr nagesh yamul academic counselor mm -hmm. botany okay okay uh, so our next count uh, so our next panelist is dr subhangi jangle academic counselor for environmental science madam yes ma'am please continue thank you sir am i audible It's yes ma'am good evening good evening all good evening dr p c sharuf sir siddiqui ma'am and all the respected guest attending this webinar conducted well so i uh, dr shubhangi jangle uh, from environmental science department institute of science nagpur is an academic counselor of environmental science too so as i joined environmental science from 2008 but that time only the department is running the environmental science program when i heard that uh, ignu is uh, starting such uh, msc environmental science program and uh, uh, siddiqui madam just uh, continuously contacting us ki what should we have to done uh, what steps uh, is uh, what are the other requirements so we already supported and uh, i am really thankful to siddiqui ma'am that uh, she has uh, given the chance to us um, uh, my me and my team to conduct uh, the practicals schedules whatever designed by the uh, uh, regional centers and our study center too so the thing is as uh, today's topic is on uh, breaking the barriers in science as if we say science so science is dealing with the experiments and all and that thing we have to do in laboratory if laboratory is not available is like that ki are kaha karenge kaise karenge science to hoga hi nahi so but the thing is the um, 
women candidates or the girl candidates who are uh, joining this program are really appreciating because certain things that uh, uh, we have to see like that uh, some girl student are facing problem to attend the uh, different uh, courses designed by the universities and all but uh, they are luckily joining this msc environmental science program because um, as madam told ki we have the environmental science department the intake is only for 11 student only so when student came ma'am i want uh, admission and when they um, uh, when we say ki no sorry seats are full you just try to other colleges and in nagpur only three colleges are running this environmental science program so it's really appreciating एंड रियली थैंकफुल शिव स्वरूप सर की आपने ये इंक्लूड किया इग्नू में और डिस्टेंस लर्निंग से उन स्टूडेंट्स को भी बहुत ज्यादा फायदा होगा जो कि एनवायरमेंटल साइंस में बहुत इंटरेस्टेड थे कि दे वांट मैडम आई वांट टू डू एम एस सी इन एनवायरमेंटल साइंस बिकॉज आई हैव इंटरेस्ट आई वांट टू डू आई वांट टू डू दिस सो बाई इंट्रोड्यूस थिंग्स प्रोग्राम इन दिस लर्निंग डिस्टेंस लर्निंग प्रोग्राम एंड आर इंस्टीट्यूट गेट दैट uh facilities to conduct this uh, uh, programs so madam uh, and uh, our team designed suraj sir ne jo bhi design kiya hai time tables and uh, laboratory work wo bahut hi acha tha aur students are continuously uh, contacting us ki madam ye kaise hoga uh, wo experiment jaise madam ne bola hai ki experiment conduct karna hai 14 days uh, we are from out of uh, maharashtra how we are going to come where we stay and all but the other thing is ki uh, beta if you want to do something or do you want to learn something you aapko uh, yahan aana padega practical karna padega because hum aapko bata to denge ki uh, uh, marigold aisa hota hai lotus aisa hai but jab aap feel karoge aur wo jo feel hota hai wo aapko life long uh, leke chalta hai ki nahi lotus aisa hai marigold aisa hai तो ये चीज जो है वो डिस्टेंस लर्निंग से जो बाकी स्टूडेंट्स को मिल रही है वो बहुत ही काबिल तारीफ है सर एंड द साइंटिफिक नॉलेज शुड बी अवेलेबल फॉर एवरी पर्सन वेदर वे आर लो इनकम हाई इनकम और सोशल स्टेटस वी डोंट नो वेदर दे आर कमिंग फ्रॉम एनी जोग्राफिकल एरिया बट द थिंग इज की वी आर प्रोवाइडिंग बेटर एजुकेशन एंड एंड अपग्रेडिंग नॉलेज टू देम सो दैट दे आर गेटिंग वन एडिशनल डिग्री डिग्री में इट में भी ग्रेजुएशन पोस्ट ग्रेजुएशन और में भी डिप्लोमा कोर्स सो थैंक यू सर इट्स रियली वेरी हेल्पफुल फॉर अस टू बिकॉज द सर्टन एज क्राइटेरिया इन आर डिपार्टमेंट इज फेसिंग दिस थिंग्स की इन डिस्टेंस लर्निंग वी हैव सीन दैट अब एज और देर इज नो सर्च इन लिमिट्स सो बियॉन्ड लिमिट जैसे हमको जब भी चाहिए है कि हमें सीखना है सो इट्स Ignu is there. Help them. कि चलो आओ हम आपको पढ़ाएंगे हम आपको सिखाएंगे सो so, ये बहुत अच्छा है सर तो मुझे बहुत अच्छा अच्छे स्टूडेंट्स भी मिले जब हमने प्रैक्टिकल कंडक्ट किया मैडम के साथ तो सारे स्टूडेंट्स का यही था कि नहीं हमने जो प्रैक्टिकल किए हैं ये ऐसे प्रैक्टिकल होना ही चाहिए देन एंड देन यू शुड गेट दी पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट डिग्री और अभी डेजर्टेशन का था तो सब एक ही बात बोलनी है कि आ, अगर हो सके तो अगर एक छोटी सी लाइब्रेरी हम प्रोवाइड कर सके स्टूडेंट को बिकॉज स्टूडेंट कंटिन्यूसली सेइंग मी कि मैडम आई वांट दिस आर्टिकल्स एंड नॉवेल्स एंड रिसर्च पेपर एक्चुअली ड्यूरिंग डेजर्टेशन वी रिक्वायर्ड रिसर्च पेपर्स एंड बुक्स सो इफ वी प्रोवाइड सम लाइब्रेरीज टू दिस स्टूडेंट्स तो और भी अच्छा हो जाएगा uh, यही था सर थैंक यू thank you ma'am for sharing your uh, views uh, <clears throat> students uh, are the most important stakeholders in higher education so our next panelist is ms pranali baunpule who has uh, who has completed her pgdsc program from hislop college study center pranali please unmute yourself uh, good evening everyone am i audible Yes, you are. Yes. So, uh, good evening, everyone, teachers, all uh, all the teachers present uh, here from Igno. I am Pranali Bawan Kule, a uh, no, a teacher. I take tuition up to twelfth class. 
I have completed my PG uh, PG diploma in analytical chemistry from IGNO. Uh, I feel lucky to get a global chance to learn about analytical chemistry from IGNO. I have here to share my experience. Actually, IGNO is a ray of hope for many students li like me who wants to study in a field of science along with their job. Distance education is the best best thing for entrepreneurs which helps the student for become learner plus earner like me i have as i have said i have completed pg diploma in analytical chemistry from igno i have developed a, uh, i have developed an interest in chem in the field of chemistry and uh, recently i have completed my masters uh, in uh, chemistry from hislop college that's why I think it is a barrier breaking things for uh, people who are uh, who are looking for uh, um, education along with their job. And okay, uh, especially for the yes, please continue. And, and uh, especially for the girls, um, I, I think Ignu pro, uh, provides a, a golden chance to complete their education and give the uh, wings of knowledge to fly and achieve their goal, especially for those girls who can't go to college uh, regularly and uh, for their study. So I think it is a global uh, um, chance to complete their uh, education and to uh, get uh, exposure about the, and the knowledge of uh, in the field of science. I would like to thank uh, Haldar sir for giving me an opportunity to up and share my experience. Thank you so much, sir. Okay, thank you for sharing your views, Pranali. Our next panelist, Miss Kalpana Lade, she has completed her BSc Botany from ICNU. Miss Kalpana Lade, please unmute yourself. There. Okay. Uh... Miss Kalpana Lade, are you? Yes, Kalpana, I think not. Okay. Okay. So, our next panelist, uh, our next learner, uh, Miss Jayasri Bhakre from, yes, from Pune, she's a student of MSc Environmental Science. Miss Jayasri. Mahapre. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. Yes, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Am I audible, sir? Yes, you are. Okay. Thank you, sir. Uh, all the respected dignitaries and uh, my student friends, good evening to one and all. Uh, myself, Jayashri Bhakre, a student of MSc Environmental Science, Regional Center, Nagpur. Uh, first of all, it gives me an immense pleasure to convey my experiences through this platform. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. Uh, by profession, I'm a lecturer of biology and environmental science uh, in a junior college. Uh, so while learning <coughs> and teaching EVS, I felt a need to study this subject in detail. Like uh, I thought, let's have a master's in this subject. Uh, since I have two kids and uh, it was difficult for me to opt for a regular course or a regular university program and also being already postgraduated in the subject of botany and registered for PhD. Uh, so because of all these things, I was searching for the distance education. So there I found IGNU as the best option because IGNU, uh, providing the syllabus, exhaustive syllabus uh, provided by IGNO. It is, the, it is of international level and the degrees uh, provided by IGNO are the equivalent to the regular universities. So uh, IGNO was the university chosen by me, but unfortunately, MSc Environmental Science was not there uh, in the list of IGNO. It was not available at that time. Uh, but uh, suddenly in 2021, January 21, I came to know that IGNU has launched uh, MSc Environmental Science. Uh, 
so i enrolled myself for this program in very first batch uh, as i was eagerly waiting for this program as uh, shachi ma'am said many enthusiastic students <laughs> were there so i am one of <laughs> them uh, so i enrolled myself for that uh, course uh, but as we know that uh, 2021 was the pandemic year Uh, due to that many disturbances came across like uh, non receipt of the study material um, syllabus but uh, slowly everything got uh, normalized and finally uh, i am completing my msc environmental science uh, in 2023 and now i am a proud student of igno <laughs> Uh, many of us thought that the subject like applied sciences uh, cannot be learned from the open universities Uh, through distance learning uh, as there is a need uh, to learn this subject practically uh, but igno has proved this wrong while learning science from igno one just need to take out 15 days in every 6 month uh, for the practicals i did all my practicals uh, at the institute of science nagpur uh, which was very informative and the counselor prepared us to run a race with the regular students by providing appropriate knowledge practical knowledge and this uh, practicals have definitely imparted an in depth knowledge uh, for us uh, with respect to the practicals i do have one suggestion here sir uh, the practicals may be conducted in hybrid mode also uh, that is one week online lectures and one week actual practicals in the lab so uh, this would help the working students sir especially the women with family responsibilities to take out less time of a week in every 6 month it is possible for the women uh, learners especially uh, so this is my suggestion from my side <laughs> uh, coming to the benefits of igno is for female candidates uh, i must say that women uh, working as well as non working have to balance work and family life uh, and uh, today's women always try for adapting the knowledge so learning science from distance education such as igno's model can help such women to achieve what they aspire for in the field of science and their bringing and also uh, it will bring the gender equality in the field of science uh, lastly i would say uh, that since women plays a vital role in the sustainable development which is a need of an hour so science education through open universities is an aid in breaking the barriers and in contributing in the women empowerment so thank you thank you so much and thank you for giving me this opportunity and sharing my experience here thank you sir thank you so much sir you are muted our next uh, panelist is ms sadhana bhurse from garcholi she has completed bsc from ignu and presently she is a learner of msc environmental science sadhana are you online yes sir i am here yes thank you sir uh, myself sadhna bhurse i am working as a teacher in garchiroli district uh, but uh, when i uh, i am a student of uh, science and maths but when i have completed the education and i am doing a job here so i feel that it is difficult for me to go ahead and again do the uh, education uh, again to face any of the science uh, faculty or uh, uh, to work in the science faculty but igno has given me opportunity to learn more things and as i am a student of a uh, as i am uh, uh, studying the msc i i am very 
thankful to all the teachers and professors who are uh, helping us for this uh, course completion and uh, actually i want to say one thing uh, professor dr lalita kumar ma'am says that from garchiroli so many students are uh, uh, lacking to education but uh, actually i want to say that uh, about 10 students in this uh, msc environmental science batch we are doing msc in environmental science <laughs> Actually, ma'am, uh, we all are very interested uh, in uh, learning be. this program. Uh, so I want to say that, uh, madam, uh, uh, this uh, Garchiroli district is uh, so rural area, but uh, still we all are connected to the region and uh, for 15 days we stay there. And it is uh, a very nice experience for us. And uh, this really helps us in our career. And uh, along with us, uh, my elder brother and uh, one of my cousin also joined the MSc course because of us. So they, uh, they thought firstly that uh, this uh, science faculty is not for uh, distance education. We cannot complete the practicals and all. But uh, now IGNU proved that it is possible for students to complete their science uh, faculties or science education through the distance learning. So I'm very much thankful to Shuswarup sir and um, uh, other uh, that uh, our lecturers of uh, IGNU Regional Center. Actually, when we go to that uh, college first time, we uh, feel that this is a very different thing for us, actually. But when the teachers and professors, lecturers interact with us, we thought that they are really very much knowledgeable and they are very caring for us. They uh, uh, converse, uh, conversation and all the things, all the knowledge they shared with us, that was really appreciable. And uh, uh, this is uh, one of the things, ma'am, which uh, we are in the rural area, but still we can complete it because of only the IGNU program. If there is no IGNU program, then uh, this is uh, quite difficult for us because here is a problem of uh, traveling and this uh, mountain hilly areas. And uh, in the rainy seasons, uh, here is uh, so many problems, ma'am. But still, we are completing our education because of the distance learning, distance education. And this is possible because of this IGNU program. And uh, I'm uh, also completed my MA in English from this uh, IGNU only. And this is uh, really helpful to us, ma'am. And I, when I meet to someone, some students, as I'm uh, teaching in ZP school, whenever the village people talk to me or uh, I interact with the um, students of 12th science faculty, I suggest them specially to join IGNU. Because I thought that this is all those uh, who are eager to learn or eager to uh, learn in, in, uh, in this uh, science faculty. Because they think that if we join regular colleges, then that is uh, difficult for them from the rural areas. They cannot complete uh, the regular attendance in school, college, and uh, all. But still, they they can complete it uh, in 15 days uh, in uh, IGNU Regional Center at uh, Nagpur. That is uh, possible for them to stay there uh, for 15 days and uh, complete the PG course. That is uh, quite uh, students in the rural areas, ma'am. And uh, I think this is really appreciable for women, especially because I am also working as a wife, as a mother, and as a teacher also. And I have uh, small kids. My kids also come to the regional center while we are doing practical session. All lecturers cooperate us because uh, we don't have anyone to uh, take care of our children. So we come with our children at the center. But still they are saying that uh, it's okay. You At least you are doing the 
good work that uh, they are sitting in the class and we are in the lab uh, that is uh, managed in the igloo that uh, regional center and uh, coordinators and lecturers all uh, professors are really very knowledgeable persons and they always uh, gives us uh, new knowledge and uh, while we are doing practicals uh, actually they are very supportive and this uh, institute of science is the uh, re, uh, that is uh, the center for uh, our uh, practical sessions and there is the really very facility facilities are there uh, and they are providing us uh, these uh, things in a proper ways and how, how to handle the chemicals and all that things is uh, useful in our schools also ma'am and i conduct uh, these practicals in my school also as uh, i have a small lab is there not that um, that much big uh, lab is there but still i conduct so many practicals because of this uh, igno session because uh, earlier time after 12th class i never uh, done this uh, practicals and handling chemicals and uh, that uh, uh, botany in bsc course uh, we done the, that uh, so many experiments with jaki sir and uh, at the time of msc anagha patel, patel madam was there and uh, uh, there was shubhangi jungle madam is there and uh, siddhi ke madam is uh, supporting every time to us and this is really a great opportunity for me and my all other students to join this course and uh, this is real i'm very thankful to all the members thank you ma'am and thank you shiv swarup sir for giving me this opportunity to talk in front of all thank you sir all thank the you. best that's thank great. you ma'am thank you sadhana you represented the gradually students batch of 10 yeah. students from your yes. very true <laughs> very true <laughs> it's good and ignu has successfully reached to the un unreached very true yes and, sir yes sir this is yes, under uh, the leadership really of great. dr shiva 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 saru ignu oh, has oh. reached to the uh, various oh, parts of vidarbha yes exactly yes okay so our next panelist uh, is ms rosita thakur from nagpur she is a student of uh, msc environmental science rosita thakur are you online yes sir yes sir yes. thank yes. you for inviting me uh, good evening everyone first of all i would like to thank my sincere thanks to all the responsible dignitaries for conducting sincere practicals because uh, when uh, when we say open university we say there we have a lack of knowledge or on the practicals but for conducting sincerely and with discipline we gain that we gain that knowledge uh there are seven i think seven central open universities in, if i am not wrong but i am very lucky and also fortunate to choose igno as my open university because my journey for environmental science started i was enrolling myself in graduation but uh, missing the cut off from three or four marks i just lost the opportunity and then i uh, there i put the comma on my journey for environmental science but i completed my graduation in 2020 uh, and by that time igno introduced the environmental science program in 2021 january itself so it was my fortune that i can learn environmental science through open distance learning and uh, because of uh, the faculty and all the responsible dignitaries at our regional center i acquired optimum knowledge because of their sincere and uh, disciplined practical knowledge the uh, practicals they conducted was so clear access clear access to the laboratories in fact we uh, we were the first batch i think we were the first batch so we didn't had uh, that much of experience also and i uh, our coordinators were also not that much experience to how to conduct uh regarding the open universities but we did it very efficiently 
in a nutshell uh, women's are frontliners for the development of any nation and by providing online learning program with the perspective of women it is a very great thing igno is doing by increasing their self esteem and boosting the confidence in them i can honestly say the knowledge i gain through uh, igno syllabus it is more than any uh, regular university and and i'm saying honestly that means literally honest because my graduation college was luckily his club college through uh, nagpur university and in fact uh, uh, shubhajit sir also taught me during my second year but uh, yeah they i can say the syllabus of msc environmental science is very uh, vast and so it covers maximum things and thank you i think i must thank uh, professor sachi sharma for uh, including so much of uh, schemes and governmental schemes because it is also helping all around the person not just a student oriented person but also another persons who are in different fields uh, say ministries or in a, any ecological department it is helpful from zero to above from ground level to the very topmost level the syllabus is planned to that according so it is very fortunate that i am a student of igno and i have learned masters in environmental science and i can proudly say that i can beat my batchmates from other universities regarding in that particular environmental science subject so thank you everyone and also a uh, special thanks to uh, no, coordinators and uh, counselors at our regional center that is uh, environment uh, institute of science uh, dr siddiqui ma'am uh, dr shubhangi jangle ma'am dr Sh uh, shilpa ma'am uh, surat sir thank you thank you so much thank you okay uh, our next panelist uh, is ms roma mahendra shah from nagpur she has completed her bscg complete uh, from igno and she is present and here she is present here a very good evening everyone speak a very good evening to everyone first of all i would like to thank mr shivsarup sir and all the faculty member for providing me with this mm -hmm. opportunity to share my experience with you all mm -hmm. uh i would like to begin uh my journey began in ignu when i took admission in july 2019 there were lots of questions a uh, question in my mind that what has to be done and in what manner it has to be done uh all these queries were solved by uh, siddiqui madam who is coordinator at our study center institute of science uh, when an induction meeting was conducted there uh, she has broadly described everything the design of the program bscg program which i have recently completed that what ha what has to be done when it has to be done everything i would like to mention that the syllabus and the content which ignu provides is a uh, of very high quality and uh the assignments it made a it made a compulsion to study like in open university in distance mode education we are not regularly in touch with the subject and in science it's very necessary to study daily so assignments made compulsion to study on a regular basis the practicals which were conducted 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 was very nicely conducted and i whenever i was in lab i never felt that i am studying in an open university it it was just like i am doing my course from a regular university the teachers the counselors uh, they took uh, they worked very hard to make each and every practical successful i would like to thank uh, dr siddiqui ma'am for helping me out and all the students uh, on a regular basis i am very lucky to study from institute of science uh, where the counselors were ready to provide us with all the necessary support which we required from time to time all the professors all the counselors they have conducted the pra practicals very nicely i would like to mention the names Uh, like Dr. Siddiqui Ma'am, she has conducted our chemistry practicals. Idris Sir, then Yamul Sir, Borkar Sir, and Tijare Sir, Panchubhai Sir, and Kavadkar Madam. Everyone took great pain 
to make our practicals successful they made sure that everyone each single student was engaged in the practicals which they have conducted ignu provides us with the uh, flexibility and it allows us to learn at our own pace when i joined ignu i have searched on net about it many times wherein i found out that the question papers which they set for the term and exams uh, has very good quality means the type of questions they ask in the term and exams are very good so i studied accordingly my main target was to uh, write the assignments nicely so that i can score well in my exams and i got all support from my study center uh, teaching and non teaching staff everyone so i would like to thank everyone once again thank you sir so roma you can share your percentage also you completed all the three years no bsc yes sir i have completed uh, recently i have completed i have not got the mark sheet uh, right now okay. uh, in july term and exam 2020 22 i have completed my course maybe she is one of the few first ones to complete B bscg no yes ma'am first oh, batch of bsc oh uh, yeah 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 congratulations actually uh, all the you, best madam i want to share one thing about her yeah uh, because most of the students were promoted in their during a lockdown oh. most of the but she was the only student in my at my center that she opted for giving the exam so she has cleared all the theory papers offline she has oh. not taken the advantage of getting promoted thank you thank you this is super super all the best actually yeah. thank you ma'am yeah that's really very good. nice congrats very nice ma'am yeah. congrats great all the bscg students are really you know struggling <laughs> but then good. covid uh, at the time no it yeah, was difficult yeah, yeah. to conduct the practical and there were so many true. challenges yeah but you know that is what i am saying this center really works you know yeah yeah super thank you thank you sir thank you thank you ma'am <laughs> Like Haldar, please carry. It is rightly said that uh, entry is very easy in Igno, but exit is very tough. Yes. Okay. So our next panelist is uh, Miss Aswesha Kaule. She has done uh, her PGDSC from Hislop College, Nagpur. Presently, she is a PhD scholar in Central University of Guru Ghasidas University, Bilaspur. As Aslesha. Yes, sir. Yes. yes, sir. Uh, very good evening to everyone. I Aslesha Kaule, pursuing PhD in Polymer Chemistry from Central University, Bilaspur. I have done PGDSC diploma course from IGNU in the year of 2017 to 18. So we know that the today's our topic was the breaking barriers in science. So and here we are also celebrating the National Science Day also. so uh, moving towards uh, nowadays higher education is increasingly required to have access to a wide range of career choices uh, we know that it is not easy to attain higher education there are many factors at a play when it comes to to the difficulty of getting a degree so overcome to these all problems igno is there so it offers this ignu college is offers the various academic programs that leads to the award of certificates diplomas and degrees also even graduates from ignu are eligible for all the both government and private sector jobs this is the very important thing that uh, it is also employable for various upsc ssc and banking exams also so from my uh, experience uh, which i have done the pgdsc course the university follows the unique methods of education systems which beneficial for housewives professionals as businessmen too this is the main advantage of the uh, uh, educating from the ignu college so for the 50 years the open university has laid the way in innovative part time education developing the workplace learning and development the solutions for employers as well as educating in individuals so the educating with ignu is always appreciable in any type of the condition this is the all over my experience about during the pgdsc course 
uh, if you particularly talk about the pgdsc course there are the so many uh, challenges in that courses that is that they uh, regularly provided the assignments uh, and uh, they they are also start, uh, uh, conducting the all types of the practicals during that uh, courses and day by day they were you know, uh, checklisted of uh, uh, throughout our uh, assignments so this is the main protocol of this pgdsc course and uh, work working or educating with uh, uh, ourselves with the ignu is always appreciable in my point of the view uh, so this is my experience and uh, after all and uh, at all i uh, thank you to haldar sir shiv sarup sir for uh, giving me this uh, uh, opportunity to share my uh, feedback about the my course thank you sir thank you ashlesha for thank being appreciative thank you ma'am okay all the best okay yes, ma'am thank you so our next panelist is miss jyoti dasila she uh, did her pgdsc course from hislop college nagpur and she is also gold medalist from ignu for this pgdsc course and uh, she also stood second merit in her pre in her uh, re regular conventional msc chemistry course in the un university great okay good evening sir good evening, good evening. everyone Hello. am i audible yeah yeah yes, you are congrats first of all okay. of course thank you thank you everyone thank you ma'am thank you so much thank you everyone and uh, i really appreciate that this webinar it was so informative i got all the details that how it is progressing and it's really nice to see that um sir gave me the topic gender inequality but first i would like to tell my experience with ignu ignu was kind of life changing for me when i joined it first sir told me that it's a very beneficial course that you must join at that time i was doing my master so i thought let it be i'll see to it but then when i joined it and now today i really appreciate it because my basics i have uh, built my basics using the knowledge of analytical chemistry that's true now even i teach when i teach i know that how instruments work how because i read those books those books are very underrated that were provided by ignu that were really good around 30 books were there initially i thought that how will i read so much but when i started reading it i used it for my uh, assessment also in the internal semester exams also i was using it so it was very good and um, with the help of especially uh, saldar sir he appreciated me a lot he used to you know tell us that you should do this it's very good and then i saw the results it was really nice and even uh, shiv sarup sir he also helped me one time i remember and uh, the overall program is designed in such a way that even a person who doesn't know things will learn through it and will obviously clear the basics first of all and when you want to read all the thing and information regarding the books and all the things were very nice even uh, when i was uh, doing i was Uh, giving interviews for schools so at that time also when i used to give my cv everyone used to ask me are you have got a gold medal in ignu and i was <laughs> i was very happy at that time and still i feel like it is something that is a plus point to my cv as well um so talking about today's topic that uh, gender inequality that persists in uh, today's era it makes me feel a little low that even now we are talking regarding this topic it's really sad but then it is the truth hard truth and we even know that there is no country today that uh, that has got a gender equality you know overall no that's not true no country is there that has got gender equality that has achieved gender equality so uh, i feel that for a nation's development for for the development of a nation there should be sustainable development that can happen only when women are supported and they get financially independent women economic empowerment is must economic empowerment is uh, something i feel that should be there and should you know women should themselves take such roles that they should not confine themselves that they are doing this role that role no they are they are told that you are good in this role but no they should explore more they should try and take risk more 
now i am teaching uh, i was teaching in bhavan's civil lines earlier now i am teaching again in a very prestigious school in uh, haldwani uttarakhand so it is it's not just teaching it's is delivering the concepts that you have learnt so much so with the help of pgdsc program i would really like to help uh, thank haldar sir shiv sir rip sir and everyone all the dignitaries um, you know we should give this knowledge we should uh, give the word to everyone that we should always try to seek and learn more and more using such courses will help us to learn a lot and even somebody that has achieved a lot who has all the knowledge should also enroll himself himself or herself in this program because it will definitely going to upgrade you that i feel thank you jujut thank you jujut thank you so thank much you, all the thank best you ma'am really good thank you thank you sir thank you everyone and uh, especially alda sir he always invites me and uh, i feel like he is really doing a very good work everyone they obviously they are doing so much you know for everyone especially to the girls those who are not able to uh, achieve education normally they can obviously enroll themselves in the, such programs and achieve various things motivating them is most important yes. yes motivation is obviously important because you have to start somewhere because Very if you will not start then it's not going to happen yeah yeah thank you thank you thank you everyone okay uh, so our, our next panelist is ms swamia khobragare from wardha she is a student of bscg course the last part yes is the last part is last okay okay <laughs> miss swamia khobra gare swamia she you are there na yes yes swamia khobra gare you can unmute your mic swamia khobra gare from wardha please unmute your mic He is unmuted, but some problem, network problem. Some looks technical good. problem, technical. Glitches. Some technical problem only. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We can conclude. Yes, we can conclude. So we have come to the end of this program, and uh, on behalf of Ignu Regional Center and Hislop College, the co-host of this uh, webinar in hybrid mode. i congratulate all at first i want to congratulate all the stakeholders all the students stake, stakeholders okay their stories are very in inspiring for all of us being a teacher that you know when the students achievement comes it is the most most enjoyable things for a teacher okay and uh, so on behalf of to organize organization i want to thank professor sachi shah professor lalita kumar dr op sharma from ignu school for joining this webinar and i want to uh, thank dr prashant selke the principal of hislop college uh, when i approached him being a non science background uh, he told me you know that it is a motto of sdg 5 sustainable mm -hmm. development goal 5 of un nation even then i thought yeah, <laughs> but okay so uh, so i thank dr prashant selke the principal of our college and at the end the leader of ignu regional center dr p c basibasaru you know he is a guiding force for all of us so thank you thank thank you sir so we have come to the end of our webinar okay then we will conclude i also thank everyone from my on my personal behalf And also on the organizations, this program is available on uh, YouTube and the uh, Facebook of the Ignore Regional Center Nagpur. So anyone can refer after this also. Thank you very much for joining. Thank you, thank you so much, Doctor Haldar. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you everyone. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you.